Hi everyone, my name is Claudia and you have found yourself in a 45 minute mandala vinyasa yoga practice. So that just means we're going to be flowing 360 around the yoga mat. This class is going to be quite active. There's going to be lots of heart opening, back bending, expansive positions, but there's also going to be lots of times for you to rest, okay? There's going to be times for you to up level and there's going to be times for you to invert, but I'm going to guide you through absolutely everything. Now to start, we will stop. So we'll come to our back, come to lie down and nestle yourself in. So lie yourself down like you'd lie into a hammock. Give your body over to your support. And then just adjust yourself accordingly, right? So you might want to bring in a little bit of a wiggle or a fidget. You may even wish to change the shape of your body entirely. Perhaps softening further into your shoulders, softening further into your heart. Beginning to transition the extra step so that you can come out of your mind and commit to being in your body for the next 45 minutes. So go ahead, close your eyes. As you close your eyes, it calls for you to readjust slightly, right? So you've just stepped out of your external environment and you've got no other option but to face what happens on the internal. You know, if you're not a seasoned meditator, if you're not a seasoned practitioner, know that that's perfectly okay but also know that the action of closing the eyes and stepping into this space can sometimes create feelings of discomfort. So whatever comes up today, whatever comes through during this space, during this place, during this practice, can you let it all just be information? Now, as we move into a deeper space of listening to that information, can you also have the willingness to communicate with it, to hear it, to feel it, to heal it, to transform it? Now, place your hands on your body. So bring hands to your body and feel yourself embodied with the most potent, powerful tool that you have, your own energy. Now take an energizing breath in, inhale. Out of the mouth, exhale. So I want you to focus on constricting the back of your throat today, constricting the glottis. So it kind of sounds like you're fogging up a mirror. Let's do that as a collective. So breathe in through the nose. Fog up the mirror, breathe out from the mouth. Nice. It's going to be a pretty big class today. There's going to be a lot of expression. So take a moment to really zone in, hone in on that breath. Let it be your anchor. Inhale. Exhale. All right. Now close your lips, seal them off. Stay with that constriction through the back of the throat. Inhale through your nostrils. Exhale from the nose. Ujjayi breathing, stay on that breath, flutter your eyes open and begin to wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingers. Mm, allow your inner body to bring your outer body back to life. Mm, now, once those smaller movements begin to undulate and ripple throughout the body, let's have you extend and expand your body into more of a primal stretch. Take up as much space as you need. Mm, yawn your body open. 
maybe it forced a little yawn out. Maybe it comes out naturally, that's great. <laughs> now, once that stretch has had a real chance to work through your systems, draw your lovely knees into your chest, place your hands behind the backs of them, and then use that connection to rock and roll the spine forwards and backwards. Let's begin to release any little bits of residue through the spinal column. Massage it out. And then once you've done that about three times, roll forward, shuffle over your knees, and then come to sit on them. Let's take a moment here. So hips over the heels, shoulders stacked over the hips. Interlace your hands behind your skull. And then allow your elbows to wing out here. Bring your chin away from your chest. You open your throat chakra. All right, we're going to begin to work into the back some more, into the thoracic spine, which is the least mobile part of the back. So this movement isn't anything too crazy. We'll take a breath in and lift through the upper body. As you breathe out, begin to dive over to the right. Feel a little bit of compression through the right side. But then simultaneously feel the polarity of expansion through the left lung. Now roll the head through center. Spread through your shoulder girdle. And then dip over to the left, reset spine like a pillar, come all the way back upright. So find that rhythm and just keep moving with the breath. Again, it doesn't have to be anything super big or wild. Instead, you're just really taking the time with all the details as you open up the conversation today, as you fine tune your listening, be even more efficient and precise with how you're delving in today, delving in so deep to your physicality that you've got no other option but to listen to its feedback. All right, now it's probably about now it's saying, all right, let's swap sides. <laughs> so swap sides, begin to rotate to the left. And again, tuning in, noticing, noticing how you're stepping in. So where are you at today? Why are you here? Are you here because you've seen some funky, crazy poses on Instagram that you want to replicate? <laughs> are you here because it's a habit? Or are you here because you're wanting to build your heart? You're wanting to build your soul at a deeper level. Get curious. And once you've balanced both sides out, reset your back body, release your hands down under your front body, curl your tootsies under as you shift forward, and let's press the hands forward and down and push the hips up and back as we arrive in downward facing dog. Take a moment to arrive, bending your knees very deeply here so you can tilt your hips up and back. Hug your front body into your back body, which is going to give us some more space, some more buoyancy throughout the lower back. Bend into your knees, cycle the hips from side to side. And feel your breath, let it comb through every thread of your body. Breathe in. Breathe out. All right, gorgeous humans. Take a look forward at your thumbs and then tiptoe your feet forward. Move super slowly here. We love to rush things in our society. Let's not turn this yoga practice into another rat race. That is life. <laughs> now, once the feet get to the top of the yoga mat, fold your chest over your legs. And the invitation here is to grab hold of opposite elbows and sway your forearms from side to side. Releasing through the back plane, massaging out your lower back, your kidneys, your adrenals. Softening further into your shoulders. Let them be heavy. Drop your skull and give your lips a flutter, a flubber. <laughs> Now with this softness, let's slowly roll all the way through standing for a count of 10, 9, 8. Speak into all of those niggles, all of those sensations with your breath. Last four, three, two, on one, your head's going to lift. All right, my friends, just take a moment here and recalibration as you land in stillness, as you land in your own truth. Now, we're going to give ourselves an opportunity today to really express. We're going to work into breath of air, and it's one of my all-time favorites. 
kind of looks like you're conducting an orchestra. So it's a three part inhale and then one long exhale. I'm going to demo it first and then we'll join in together. So all I'm going to do is root my feet down, lift my fingers up, take an inhale. Inhale, sweep your arms out to the side. Inhale, lift arms up. As you exhale, bend into the knees and fold the chest over the legs. Really constrict the back of the throat and let that oxygen flow, pour, puff out of the mouth. Let it be a deep expression. This is your chance to really let something go, to begin to vocalize any stagnation that might be lingering, all right? So let's do that together. You'll find your own flow. You'll find your own rhythm. Just trust. Take a breath in, arms up. Breath in, arms to the side. Breath in, up. Breath out, fold. And again, in, 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 X. In, 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 X. So keep moving like that. Move into a deeper space of listening, my friends. Observe those, those thoughts about the feelings that are part of your conditioning. And if you decide you want to disrupt, then add some more sound. <sighs> go bigger, go deeper. We're going to use sound to disrupt, to purify, to flush, to grieve, to heal. If you're willing, if you spend enough time in it, be in your presence long enough to really feel what you're feeling. And don't worry about what this looks like, okay? You know your truth. You know where you've been and you know where you're going. So open it up. <sighs> Something to say, clear it out. <sighs> Three more. <sighs> Last one. Roll body back through to a standing position and just bring your hands to your body. Receive your touch. Take a moment to feel what you just did. Hmm. Continue to feel what needs to be felt. Hear what needs to be heard. And say what needs to be said. Breathe in through your nose. With a constricted throat, breathe out from the mouth. Stay on your breath. Ujjayi breathing, fluffy your eyes open, sweep your arms in. Let it be an expression. Vocalize with your movements. Exhale, bend knees and fold. Drop skull. Surya Namaskar A. Let's open the body. Inhale, halfway lift, shoot your spine forward. Exhale to a high plank, hands under shoulders, feet are going to step back. Now, once you arrive in your high plank, take a moment to stabilize. So don't just like kind of drop into your joints. Use your foundations. Look at your hands, spread them. Press each and every fingertip down so you feel this push action. Your arms are switched on. Your heels push back. The crown of the head is forward. And then you're going to zip your front body in from your pubic bone all the way up to your chin. Inhale. Exhale. Lower your knees. Let them kiss the ground. Untuck your toes. Drop your belly, your chest, your throat. And then we open the throat. Take a baby back bend. Elbows are in. Press down through your hips and lift. Exhale, bend into your knees, curl toes under downward facing dog. Really spread your hands, press them down and then forward as you tilt your tailbone high, high, high. Create a deeper, a more intimate relationship with your breath. Hmm. And then create an even intimate, more intimate relationship with your body. How is your spine feeling today? How are your shoulders doing? And really speak to all of those sensations with that beautiful prana. When we can speak to what we feel with the breath, we can shift our mindset from being so goal orientated and instead just enjoy this bodily experience that we're having. Take one more breath into your body. Inhale. Exhale. 
All right, we're gonna move with the breath. My favorite part, look forward, inhale. Step your feet forward and exhale. Halfway lift, breathing in. Fold your chest over your thighs and breathe out. Don't forget to drop your skull. Press to rise, open up like a sunrise, you inhale. And then you drip yourself all the way down like a waterfall. Exhale. <sighs> Halfway, breathe in. High plank, breathe out. Full body engagement here. Press down, heels back, crown of the head forward and lower. Drop knees or high plank to low plank. Make sure your shoulders don't dip down past your elbows. Roll over the tootsies to puff your heart forward in between your biceps. Bring your chin away from your chest. Open up your throat. Inhale. Exhale, bend your knees. Downward facing dog. Mm, feel your breath again, my friends. Imagine that breath breathes your intention deeper and deeper into your body. Inhale. With a constricted throw, exhale from the mouth. All right, one more round. Go bigger, why not? Look forward, inhale. Step or jump forward, exhale. Halfway, breathe in. Fold and breathe out. All the way up, inhale, press down through your big toes, reach up through your thumbs, and then come all the way down, 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 down. Fold yourself in half, should feel medicinal. What does love feel like in your body? What does expression feel like? Halfway, in, high plank, X. Lower on the exhalation. Let the breath guide you. Inhale, cobra, up dog. Breath out, down dog. Soften to your knees. Stack your hips, your shoulders, sit up tall. Place one hand to belly, one hand to heart. Moment of recalibration. Try not to fidget. All you need to do is be here. So stay in that place where you're listening, where you're communicating, where you're getting to know your own story. You're getting to know your patterns, your loops, your monkey mind, that inner chatter. And then we continue to clear it with the breath. Breathe in through your nose. Breathe out from the mouth. All right, my loves, downward facing dog, mandala flow we go. Keep your hands active, press down through your left foot, lift right leg up and back. Neutralize your hips here, so make sure your right hip is in line with your left. Bend right knee, suction heel in towards your glue, and then shift forward. Stack your shoulders over your wrists. Press the ground away from you, so you're doming through your upper back. You're pressing your right toe all the way towards your head. Cobra back, scorpion back rather, and cobra. <laughs> Actually, no, it's not cobra, <laughs> scorpion back. Your right toe is reaching towards your head and your head is driving back towards your toe. You can imagine your toe is like scorpion tail and you're trying to sting yourself. <laughs> I don't know why, sting yourself with some goodness. Breathe in. As you breathe out, right knee comes in. Imagine your chin is like a vacuum here and you're gonna suck that right knee up. Zoom, and then step the foot forward. All right, lower your left knee down. Softly does it. Roll up your body and cactus your arms open. Anjani Asana. Option one is gonna be right here. This is absolutely enough. Option two, you can allow your hips to descend further as your chest ascends and we can work more into the spine. So feel engagement in your back. Create presence in your cervical spine. Stay lifted through the crown of your head. Navel is in. Lifting through the side seams. Take an inhale. As you exhale, lengthen your right leg, push your hips back towards your left heel and then reach your arms forward. So we're gonna work into this modified variation of half Hanumanasana, half split position. Now this has less to do with how you bow yourself forward, so don't worry about the depth. It has more to do with how much integrity you can maintain through your core, through your arms, through your hamstring. Okay, now we're gonna move and breathe. So bend right knee, open chest, pulsate. Exhale, shift your weight forward. Lengthen right leg, reach your arms forward. Keep moving like that. The breath in, you open, Anjaneyasana. Exhale, reaching, half Hanumanasana. 
Do a few more in your own time. Connect to the element of air. It's this element that corresponds with the chest cavity, the throat cavity. So as we open, we can begin to shift and move and bring in that sense of freedom, this sense of openness, which this air element allows us to bring into a deeper state of connection with. All right, now next time you bend into your right knee, you're gonna open your arms again, pick up your left knee, so curl your left toes under. High lunge, just take a moment to check in on your frame here. So find this posterior tilt where you tilt your tailbone under. Again, you can open your back body more, be super mindful of your lower back here. So squeeze your thighs together. Good, take a breath in. As you breathe out, lengthen arms, legs, spine. Modified variation of pyramid. So don't reach your arms down, reach your arms forward. Get really specific about this movement, everyone. Reach fingers, elongate your body, that's it. Pull yourself in, activate through your throat, begin to clarify, purify. Let's move with the breath. Bend right knee, open up, inhale. Exhale, reach. Modified pyramid, do that again. Breathe in, open, get creative. Exhale, reaching and lengthening. Like you're a whirlwind, one more, inhale. Exhale. All right, we're gonna meet in this modified version of pyramid. Now look, listen, left hand is gonna sliver down your right hand, eventually all the way across your chest, like you're giving yourself some self-love, self-touch. Drop your left heel down, begin to pivot and open yourself to warrior two facing the back of the yoga mat. Stay with me, your left knee is bent and start directly over your left foot. Now reverse your warrior, right hand to your right thigh, lengthen through the left side seam of your body. Take a big breath in. As you breathe out, cartwheel your hands to the floor. Frame your left foot, pivot onto the ball of the right foot. Step feet together, high plank. Lower, 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 lower. And then lift, 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 lift. Breathe in, cobra or perhaps up dog. On the breath out, down dog. Now when we face the back, we're gonna to continue to move like air. Optional, invitational, to breathe in and roll, round, angulate, articulate your spine forward into a high plank. As you breathe out, you can bend the knees to hover from the ground and then push the hips back and up, down dog. Two more, you can move and breathe, inhale. Exhale. One more. In. Ex. Stay on the breath. Left side we go. Hands are rooted as your left leg lifts up. Bend your knee, shift forward. Scorpion back. There we go. Hands down, head lifts. Try to bring your toe towards your left head. Got to believe it to be able to achieve it. Breathe in. As you breathe out, left thigh through the midline, suction it in and up so you get your belly involved and then step your foot forward. Once the foot lands, lower your right knee and roll yourself up. Cactus your arms open. Option one is here. Option two, you go a little deeper, a little bigger through the chest. So the hips lower and then we start to cactus the arms out more, flare up through your sternum. Bring your chin away from your chest, the gaze is high. Let's pulse eight, breathe in. As you breathe out, push your hips back. Bring your weight forward so the chest dives forward. Leg extends, reach your arms, reach, 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 reach. Okay, do that again. Bend knee and open your chest, inhale. Exhale, half Hanumanasana. Beautiful, go on your own little adventure here. Hmm, imagine your, your practice right now is like a blank canvas and you're just gonna get really colorful. Hmm, color yourself, color this practice with turquoise. Hmm. All right, now the next time you bend into your left knee, pick up your right knee. Let's transition to a high lunge. Squeeze thighs together, find posterior tilt. So this really isn't about your lower back. Keep your upper body lifted, breathe in. As you breathe out, swirl and swish your hands forward. Straighten everything out. Like you're really blasting your fingertips like a lightning ball. Nice. 
And again, inhale, bend knee, open chest. Exhale, reach forward. Keep moving, inhaling, opening. Exhale, lengthening. Let's take one more. Breathe in. Breathe out. All right, now reach your arms forward. Allow your right hand to caress across your body all the way out into warrior two, facing the front of your mat. Let's take it home. Reset your right toes, face them forward. Turn your left toe to the long side and then reverse your warrior. Sit well into your hips as you externally rotate the right hip. Breathe into the right side of the body as you breathe out high plank. Fill your body with integrity. So as you arrive in high plank, do it with intention and then lower down. Pull yourself up as you zip your navel in. Breathe in. Downward facing dog, we breathe out. Soften to your knees. Rest in child's pose if you need to rest. Hmm. If you're feeling restless, you can stay in down dog. You can stay in something more active. Or you can take a different inversion. Listen, okay, this is your practice. You take whatever it is that you need right here, right now. If you want to get upside down, you can come to headstand. Or you can even come to forearm stand. We can continue to work into the throat and into the chest. You can bring your elbows shoulder distance. You can measure them by grabbing opposite hand to opposite elbow. Now bring hands back out and slightly draw them in. Keep hands pressing down and forward as the elbows push out. Curl your toes under, walk them in. Keep looking at your hands. Try to extend one leg up. This feels okay. You might want to take a little hop. Maybe you get some air time in your pincher pose. Keep looking forward at your hands and press the hands down. And then if you can split the legs, transition through into your scorpion back bend. Bending knees, pressing down through forearms, lifting your head, looking forward. Ask yourself, what is gonna raise your vibration? And what is gonna reduce it? What pose will liberate you and what will limit you? Hmm, this is your practice, my friends. Listen, communicate, get to know what it is that you need. Why are you here? Now, whatever you're working through, start to bring it back. Let's take a moment together. Let's reconvene as a collective. Take a big breath in. With a constricted throat, breathe out from the mouth. All right, my loves, downward facing dog. Let's meet there. Hmm. I'll take a sun salutation to link back up. Look forward, inhale. Step, jump, or fly forward, exhale. Halfway, you're breathing in. On the breath out, we fold, we let something go. Really pull your head down to lift your tailbone high, massage it out. Roll yourself through standing. Bring your hands to your body. Take a moment here in recalibration, in assimilation. And again, just continue to listen. Say what needs to be said. Hear those words that need to be heard. And it might sound something like, I've got this, I can do this, I am doing this, I am enough, I have enough. Let whatever it is, those words, that mantra, that quote, let it integrate into your being. As you take a big breath in through the nose, and then a full breath out from the mouth. All right, my love, second round, we're going to add a little on and then it's on the road to relaxation. Let's go. Open your eyes, arms lift up, inhale. Exhale, fold yourself forward. Stay with me, I'm right there with you. Halfway, breathe in. High plank, breathe out. You may even wish to jump back. Lower. Lift. Down dog. All righty, from down dog, right leg extends, breathe in. Shift yourself forward, breathe out. Bend your right knee, point your right toe to your head. Hold, we're gonna be here for five breaths. 
So we're in scorpion bag. If this feels too intense, you can absolutely drop your left knee. Work on really arcing your spine. If you, want to fo if you want to focus on strength, keep your left knee lifted. If you want to take this into chin stand, walk your hands slightly in, bend your elbows, lower your chin and your chest down to the ground. Elbows wrap into the ribs and you float your feet together. I'll demo it very quickly. Wherever you are, commit and stay. Last three, Whew. two, on one. Right thigh in towards your nose, nose towards your thigh, and then step the foot forward. Left knee drops down, pull up your arms, Anjana Asana. Feeling that fire, <laughs> left knee is gonna bend here. We're gonna add on, so this is option one. Option two, your left hand is gonna reach back to grab hold of your foot, bringing heel in towards your glute. You can slide your foot to the inside of your left elbow and allow this left ha hand to rotate high. Now the right arm can lift up. Perhaps hands can work towards interlacing. My right knee begins to drive forward. Pick your poison, pick your potency and commit to it. Breathe in as you open your chest. Wherever you are, try to spiral your chest back forward and bring your chin high. Inhale, exhale, let's come on out. Release that left leg. Let's all meet with the arms open in Anjani Asana, same as before. Breathe in, reach your arms forward, half Hanumanasana, breathe out. Let's just reset the spine, counteract that back balance, take a fold. Good, now bend back into your right knee, open your arms, pick up your left knee, high lunge, hold. We're going to add on. Everyone's going to put their brain into their big right foot, their big right toe and their big right foot. <laughs> Press down through it and then bring your left knee up into your chest. It's so funny as we work into this throat chakra, I'm just like all over the place in my words. <laughs> Maybe it's off balance today. All right, good. Your left hand is going to come to your left foot. Left knee will be parallel to the, to the floor. Right arm's going to reach up. Reach your arm forward and then kick your shin back. Dancers pose territory. Keep kicking and pulling and lifting. Find that counterbalance. Really allow your left hip here to draw forward as your right hip goes back so the hips are neutralized. Flexible spine allows us to find flexibility in life. Now be in a place that's not going to induce any more stress. So take this nice and slow and steady. Big breath in. As you breathe out without slingshotting, step that left foot back. Far back as you reach your arms forward. Modified pyramid. Now trickle your left hand across your body. Mm, what does love feel like today in your soul, in yourself? Warrior two to the back, reverse, breathe in. Hands to the ground, breathe out. With full commitment, step to a high plank, inhale. And then lower down with that same energy, exhale. Clean your space, space breathe in, open the chest. Downward facing dog, breathe out. Whew. Three spinal rolls if you want them. Inhale. Exhale. Move something, my friends. Breathe in, rolling. The physical, the mental, the emotional, what's stuck, what's stagnant. <sighs> One more. Breathe well, clear it. Inhale. Exhale to clean it. <sighs> left side we go, and then it's on the road to recovery, I promise. Left leg high. Scorpion, bend knee, shift forward. Options, your right knee can drop down. You can stay in this scorpion back. Full commitment, so your hands are pressing down, your chest is lifted, your navel is in. Or even floating through to your chin stand. Walk hands in a little, bend your elbows. Lower the chin and chest down and try to bring the toes together. Last three. Be light, last two, just like your air. On one, left thigh in, and then step your foot forward. Allow your right knee to softly lower, just like it's a piece of glass. And then your arms are gonna lift up. Okay, open your arms and bend your right knee. Whew, hello quadricep. 
If you're here and it feels a little much, then just stay here, breathe into those sensations again, keep riding the breath into the information. If you did so on the other side, you're gonna reach your right hand back to grab the foot, bring your heel in towards your glute, slide your foot to the inside of your forearm, and then bring the left arm up and over. Hands can interlace. Keep pulling that chest forward. Shift your mindset from being so goal oriented to just enjoying this bodily experience wherever you are. Breathe into the body. As you breathe out, let's come on out. Re-extend your right leg. Open arms, open chest, breathe in. Half Hanumanasana, breathe out, left leg extends, hands reach. Bend left knee, pick up right knee, high lunge, inhale. Hold as you exhale, root down through all five toes of that left foot and then hug your right knee into your chest, stand tall. Your right hand is gonna slowly reach towards your ankle so you can soften the knee towards the ground. Then you're gonna kick that shin back as you sweep your left arm forward. Dancer's pose. <sighs> Stay all in as you lift taller. Keep kicking and pulling and lifting. Breathe, inhale. As you exhale, that right foot is gonna step back. You are doing amazing. All the way home, reach your arms forward. Trace your right hand across your body. Let it feel sensual like a love note. Warrior two to the front. Reverse your warrior, inhale. High plank, exhale. Lower on that same exhalation. Lift up your throat, open it, inhale. Exhale to downward facing dog and then soften to your knees, sit on your shins, stack your spine, place one hand to belly, one hand to heart. Bring your hands to your body and feel yourself embodied <sighs> with the potency of your own energy. Take an energizing breath in through the nose and then a loving breath out from the mouth. <sighs> Open your eyes. Shift yourself forward. Let's meet in a tabletop position. All right, now once you get here, you're gonna sliver your right knee behind your right wrist. I've got a lovely little surprise for you. It's called pigeon pose. <laughs> I know it's not a surprise because I always do this. It just feels so good. And if it doesn't feel good, roll onto your back and take figure four pose. Your right heel is close to that lovely left hip. Your left knee is going to just shift a few inches back so we really soften through your hips. Now lift up your front body. Inhale. Exhale. Fold your chest over your right thigh. Come down onto your forearms or if it feels safe to do so, come all the way down onto your forehead. Mm, let's start to slow things down now. Simmer the wildness. <laughs> One of my favorite definitions of yoga actually is that it brings something wild and it takes it into, it takes it into this divine service. Meaning it can take our monkey mind, it can take our puppy mind, that energy that can be so frenetic and erratic and even neurotic and it can bring it into service. Now, one of the greatest acts of self-care is service. So as you really build your heart, as you build your soul, as you begin to unravel some of your stuff, as you move and as you continue to breathe, you're only gonna keep projecting out into the world as this potent person that is magnetic that operates from this place of love and kindness that is really enriched. So let's continue to really give ourselves over to this practice today. And come back to your pranayama practice, breathe in through the nose, 
with a constricted throat, breathe out, clear it from the mouth. Good, my friends. Lift up your chest. Place hands under shoulders. Step right knee back under your hip. Or you can even transition into a lazy down dog. Whatever feels right for you, for your body, for your bones. And then on the left side we go. Knee behind the wrist shin down 45 degrees right knee back hips lower chest lifts as we breathe fold on the exhalation give yourself over to yourself let this be a real opportunity to go inward so i'm gonna get really quiet right now so you can listen begins to bubble up to your surface that is asking for more attention then you can use your breath you can vocalize it <sighs> clear it out use that sound as the cathartic release that it is an opportunity to disrupt to dismantle <sighs> to aerate Slowly, 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 let's have you lift back up. Sit onto your left hip. Bring your right leg forward and round. You could give your left leg a flush, a flutter. And then when you are ready to fully digest, your feet will come down and then your spine will unravel. Let's meet just how we started. Corpse pose, legs long, hands to the body. Shut down your eyelids. Let go of any breath control and relax. Begin to wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingers. And as you wiggle your fingers and you wiggle your toes, you can give thanks to your inner community, bringing your external body back to life. Body listening to your mind's directive. Now allow these smaller movements to make way for a bigger, bolder stretch. Oh, and then once the stretch is really hard, it's chance to 
do its way with you. Let's have you bring your knees in and drop your knees to whichever side is calling you. Listen, the left is the feminine the moon, the yin, the right is the masculine, the yang, the sun. Now once you arrive in this fetal position, take a moment, the asana of rebirth. So as we transition from corpse pose, to this rebirthing position, how about we set ourselves a new intention of how about we would like to show up in the rest of our day, in all our conversations, both internally and externally. Feel your intention become alive right now. And then press down to lift yourself to a seat. Sit comfortably. Place your hands together at the center of your chest. Balance, balance both sides, masculine and feminine. And then trace your thumbs to your third eye center. The light and the love in me sees, values and honors the light and the love in each and every one of you. And as I bow to you all, I say namaste. Namaste, my friends. What a pleasure. I hope this practice did its job. I hope it did its magic. You can always reach out to me and let me know how you're feeling, how you're doing. If there's anything that you want to voice and communicate and express, please do share. Now is the time. You can find me over on Instagram, at Marilegro. I'll see you here same time next week. Lots of love, everyone.